hello lovelies how you are doing today i hope you guys are doing great if this is the first time of watching my video hi my name is etiosa you're welcome to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i activate my molasses soap so here i have my base i have different type of soap in here i have deep orange you know uh, light orange then i have pink color and these are the soaps that i have here here i have kojik sun skin lightning soap which is the light orange this is the deep orange which is papaya whitening soap with vitamin a c and e and then the last one is this glow half cast solution flawless uh, unifying lightning bar soap now when making molasses soap there are rules that guide it i have different type of recipes on how to make molasses soap so this is one of them so when you want to make mulatto soap first thing you look out for is the color of the soaps that you are making there are different type of colors of soap bar soap out there so when you want to make mulatto soap the best thing and the first thing you look out for is soaps that have similar ingredients and similar color in order for you to avoid change in color second thing you need to look out for is to avoid concentrate a lot of concentrate i've seen most of you are putting up to five six seven type of concentrate serums tube in your mulatto soap please do not add tubes in your mulatto soap and also avoid putting too much serums in your mulatto soap many of them will not work because this bath soap has a very high percentage of ph so imagine you're putting concentrate that have a ph level of four or five and you are putting it in soaps that have a ph level of eight nine so tell me how it's going to work it's not going to work and then another thing is those serums that you are putting in your mulatto so many of them are going to change the color of your mulatto soap okay so that's one of the questions i get most of the time how can i avoid my mulatto soap changing color that is the first thing you need to avoid avoid too much concentrate in your mulatto soap and secondly pick soaps that have the same um the same ingredient or similar ingredient let's say for example you get a soap that has kojic d then you get a soap that has glutathione you get a soap that has alpha abutin now this is the thing here you can see this contains papaya all right and then when you look at this it's also papaya okay that's the thing it doesn't matter you combining four to five c different uh, so, but make sure you look out for soaps that have similar ingredients and similar color so that you'll be able to formulate a perfect and effective mulatto soap. You wouldn't want your customer to buy your soap and then they start complaining that after one week that your mulatto soap has changed color. Okay, so that's the best way you can avoid changing of color. Then the third thing you need to do is your container. Okay, so when you are packing your soap, don't use a, con a cover that has um, aluminum. Okay, avoid that. You can use a cover that have plastic, that have lead plastic in it, but do not use a cover that has aluminum. That is going to like change the color of your soap totally. When you open it, the first thing you're going to see is brown color. No matter how many food coloring or mica powder you put into your mulatto soap, it's still going to change color. So avoid too much concentrate, avoid water that is another thing avoid too much water if at all you want to add water in your mulatto soap you want your mulatto soap to you know to be fluffy or to be light go and get a liquid soap sorry guys there is a construction going on beside me here so that is one of the reasons why i mostly avoid doing videos lately because the noise is just so so annoying i'm so sorry guys please forgive me for that so um get a um, a liquid soap that also have similar ingredient with what you are formulating and similar color let's say for example now i want to add in um uh, uh liquid soap in this i can get soaps that contain kojic acid soap kojic acid kojic deep glucose and alpha or even papaya soap there are so many soaps that has papaya in it so get soaps liquid soaps that have similar color and similar ingredients if you want your soap to be very very light okay so i'm going to be showing you guys the things that we're going to be adding into this base first thing first i'm going to be adding this this contains um lemon extract this is citro uh clear so i'm going to be adding this into the soap so we're going to be adding half of this 
so we have three bar soap in here although i didn't finish the kojik d because it was very very big it was very big so i have to cut it into half and then the second thing we're going to be adding in is this uh better soap okay so this is very very good in soaps we are going to be adding in the full container of better soap okay and then the next ingredient that we are going to be adding in is propylene glycol so you can add in three to four tablespoons of propylene glycol if you don't have propylene glycol you can use vegetable glycerin guys at this point i was already fed up i was like kind of contemplating should i just continue with this video because the noise was just too much you guys can see that i have to silence the original voice and use the voice over so this is a combination of rice powder kojic departed and liquorice extract so i added in two tablespoon of liquorice extract two tablespoon of rice powder then three tablespoon of kojic departed so kojic departed seems to be the only i think um lightning artist that works in so because of the ph level okay so if you are making a larger quantity you can double the powders so next thing i'm going to do is to mix this together um then i will leave it for um 10 hours or more before i stick blend and there are still some few oils and you know liquid that we still need to add into the soap i'm going to show you guys that later Hi guys, so we are back it's been like 10 to 15 hours since i fermented this and i think it has something a bit so we're going to be using this stick blender to stick blend but if you don't have stick blender you can either use your hand or you allow it to ferment more or you use mortar to pound okay so i'm going to see if this will be able to crush it this is really Guys, at this point, something terrible just happened. Something really, really, really terrible. My blender just got spot. Can you imagine? You need to see the smoke that was coming. I just had to leave it for like a minute to check it back. It's not working. It's so painful. And I just got this blender not quite long. This early morning, I wasn't expecting this at all. I wasn't. The unexpected <laughs> is well. what we do for you too. This is a bad choice. You have to remove this. Let me fix the other one first. If not, I'm going to sleep it throughout the day. And I really want to show you guys the end result of this soap. These are most of the things that will go through behind the scenes. So if I haven't shown you guys this one, I'm really going to know. And guys, there are a few things I also added to this soup yesterday because after fermenting it, it was very, very thick. So I was kind of wondering if the liquid that I've added into it would be enough for the soup to, to dissolve. But I discovered that it won't really help. You can see how it looks right now. So I'm going to be showing you guys a few things I added into it at the end of this video. But at this point, let me just you know do this off camera and then I will be right back. Guys, this took forever, like forever to blend because of the visa. If my stick blender was able to do the job for me, it would have been faster and more smoother. But here we are. This is the consistency. The consistency is very, very okay. I love it. And this is what I was aiming to get. And then I need to show you guys the things I added to it off camera yesterday while fermenting the soap okay so this is one of the things that i added into it cocoa butane for extra um, ladder and then i added in the sea glucoside for extra ladder and i added in rose um water okay because i discovered that the soap was too thick so i added in, I added in a bit of rose water and then i added in um tea tree extract and a little bit of German plus preservative so those are the things i have in here so all i need to do now is to pack the soap the consistency is okay um i need to pack the soap i hope you guys like this video if you do do not forget to subscribe don't forget to like don't forget to comment and don't forget to you know 
show me some love by purchasing my products guys if not for anything at least for the blender that just sports you guys should subscribe because... okay so i love you guys and i will see you guys in my next video bye